Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the John Bush Show. We got a very special one today. We're going to talk about the Tiger King. We're going to talk about his several husbands he had, his history, his background, why he did some of the things he did, and um, it's going to be a very interesting video. Okay, so stay tuned and welcome back. So, as I said, we're going to talk about the Tiger King today. This video is, is going to be complex. It's a complex issue. It's a sensitive issue, and I don't want to offend anybody. But I feel like this needs to be addressed. The Tiger King, as you all know, hopefully go watch the series. Go watch the Netflix series. Um, a lot of spoiler alerts in here. He was a man who loved animals, raised animals, and had a very pure heart in the beginning. But I want to highlight the husbands, the people he married. Tiger King was gay. He was a homosexual. And as I was watching this series with my friends, I'll never forget. I said, those two men he just married, they're not gay. I said, they're traumatized. And everyone kind of looked at me like I was crazy. Lo and behold, by the end of the series, everyone looked at me and said, all, every, I watched with the same group of people. And they all said, wow. How'd you know? I researched that less than 1% of your genes, your genetic makeup, okay, plays very little, if none at all, in the makeup of your sexual orientation and your sexual behavior. There is no gene, DNA marker, DNA strand, chemical in your body that makes you gay, bisexual, or transgender. I learned that from a man that I personally, I didn't know him, but my ex-girlfriend was best friends with him. And he was the most feminine man I had ever met in my life at that point. And I swore that he was born gay. And she told me one thing that changed the way I look at sexual behavior. She said, no, he wasn't born gay. And he'll tell you that. He used to like girls, but he was molested by his own brother when he was about 10, 11 years old. That changed my entire perspective on how sexual behavior comes about. And if you remember my other videos, I talk about the root cause of things. There's also a root cause of behavior in people that we seldom like to talk about. We like to tell people, hey, you're just born that way. Okay. Even some pedophiles, there's a whole pedophile agenda going on. Association of man on boy love in North America. This is an actual thing. And they talk about how some of them were born that way. But Joe Exotic, in the first episode, he said, I knew I was gay at a young age. See, you're melanin. You see this melanin right here? There's a chemical called melanin in your body. And as you grow, it produces more depending on your genetic makeup. It produces melanin. OK, you cannot change. You can bleach your skin, do surgery to get it off you if you want to. Um, or on the flip side, you can create more melanin and darken your skin if you want to. But your genetic makeup, when you have a kid, they still going to be black or they still going to be white. Those are things you're born with that you cannot change unless you do something surgical to yourself. When it comes to sexual behavior, I said, you're not really born gay or straight. I think just as we evolved as humans, we saw if a man and a woman lay down together and have sex, we can create children. We can create a family and prolong the human race if a man and a woman get together. So if we're going off that premise, we must decide then, how did Joe Exotic know at such a young age that he was homosexual? Because... There wasn't a gene. There wasn't some melanin chemical in him that said you have to be gay. You cannot change it, which a lot of times the media likes to push to people that you have to be this way and there's nothing you can do about it. But as I did some research, Joe Exotic was brutally raped and molested by a trusted family friend in his neighborhood at five years old. I don't know if you guys know what type of trauma rape and, and molestation can do to a person. Ask Tommy Lynn Sells. He's one of the most notorious serial killers in the country. And although several factors played into why he did what he did, but the main one he brings up every single time in his interviews was that he was repeatedly raped as a young man 
by another trusted young man in the neighborhood. And he said when he took that violence out on his victims, he thought about himself. And he acted that violence out. Same thing happened with the exonerated five. The Mateus Reyes, the man who actually killed the woman in Central Park, was a victim of pedophilia in Puerto Rico. Rape, abuse, trauma, it can rewire your brain. Science says that it can rewire your brain. Even racism. There was a guy who joined, he joined the Nazi skinheads and then joined the Ku Klux Klan and hated minorities, hated immigrants. But once he learned racism, he wired his brain to hate everybody until he started to realize that he hated himself. And it took therapy to unlearn and rewire his brain to love humanity again. So Joe Exotic, same thing. Maybe, just maybe, that physical abuse, that sexual abuse that he endured at five, six years old, maybe that caused him to think or want to behave in a homosexual manner for the rest of his life. So his two husbands that he married, right? So Joe's gay. He gets these two husbands, okay? Travis and John. Travis and John both met Joe Exotic when they were right out of high school, 18, 19 years old. They were both straight their entire lives, which many homosexual people can tell you. They've dated a man before. They've dated a woman before, okay? They, not, might not, they were not always gay from the time they got out the womb. And to make my point even clearer, many homosexual people have had heterosexual relationships, including Joe Exotic. He actually has a son. The Netflix documentary didn't put that in there because another point I'm making is it seems like they're trying to push an agenda. Okay, They should have said that, hey, Joe has been in a heterosexual relationship and a kid resulted from it. So what happened was the trauma that they endured in their lives set them up, whether it was physical abuse, trauma from drugs, they were both hooked on meth. They might have not had the love from infection from their mother and father. Their drug dependence and their trauma led them to be easy targets to be manipulated by Joe Exotic because they both said, they were manipulated by Joe Exotic, even to the point where they were willing to engage in homosexuality. So clearly, you're not born that way. They were willing to go from straight to gay in a matter of weeks because, one, their dependence on drugs with Joe Exotic, and there was trauma in them that they had never healed from. But I reckon, what if his two husbands would have got the healing they needed when they were younger. Joe, Joe bought them cars, clothes, gave them money, gave them access to the entire park and the zoo. He gave them everything. And they soaked it up and they loved it. And even though they knew they wanted to be straight, they practiced homosexuality. As Travis, because he never dealt with any of his issues, the drug abuse never dealt with it, any trauma he faced as a kid never dealt with it, that man took a loaded gun to his head while living a homosexual lifestyle that he probably didn't want to live anyway, and he blew his brains out. He died, and he killed himself. Self-inflicted gun wound. So now, let's compare Travis to John. John Finlay, he actually got sober during his relationship with Joe Exotic. Okay, and because he became sober, he became more clear-minded, he ended up getting off the drugs and realizing that he was being manipulated by Joe Exotic. So John ended up leaving Joe for a woman. And now he's got a fiance, he's about to get married, he's got a kid now, and he's gotten a lot of healing from that relationship and from that time that he was being manipulated by Joe and when he was addicted to meth. I mean, his teeth are fixed. He looks great. He looks like an entirely different person because he went through that process of healing and understanding and therapy of what was going on. And now, if those two weren't really gay, then was Joe Exotic really ever gay? Or did something happen to push him that way? Because I'm seeing an occurrence here. I'm seeing an occurrence here that Joe 
was molested and abused as a kid, never got any healing from it. Joe Exotic abused drugs most of his life. And it actually sounds similar to a man named Walt Heyer. And this book changed my life. I encourage you to read it. Okay. And in here, he talks about how something so small, like his grandma dressed him, dressed him up. His name is Walt Heyer. His grandma dressed him up and dresses because she made dresses and told him how beautiful he was. And he said he didn't think anything of it at first, but eventually he ended up becoming a trans woman for eight years and mutilated his entire body to try to pretend to be a woman. Something so small as encouraging a young man to wear a dress made him do a life decision, altering transformation that he regrets to this day. So something that small shows me that in life, the small things matter. Small things have the biggest consequences. So I'm convinced that there are, there are no small things in life. Now, common occurrence, he was also molested around the same time Joe Exotic was six, seven, eight years old. And with those two, but see, Walt didn't go homosexual. He actually got married and had kids to a woman. So he didn't go gay. Trauma affects people differently. But he obsessively thought of and wanted to dress and become a woman. It started with cross-dressing, then it got bigger and bigger until he actually mutilated his genitals to become a woman. And in the book, him and everyone that he helps says that you cannot change your gender, okay? You're born a man, you're born a woman. There are 6,500 genetic differences between men and women. Surgery and hormones cannot change that, no matter what you do. There are men who have go to Thailand to get a cheap sex change, and they, after years of therapy and realizing what they've done to themselves, they say, wow, all it was was an experimental cosmetic surgery done by a cosmetic surgeon. That's all it was. It was just dressed up as a sex change. Humans cannot change their gender. Clownfish can. Okay, clownfish can change their gender naturally from the inside out. Look, <laughs> but we cannot because they do it for a purpose and a reason. We do not have a purpose and a reason to change our genders. So... There's even stories about a man who they did the surgery. They tucked his penis within himself, up in himself. And as he was having sex, he would get an erection as with his penis in himself. If the LGBT community cares about its people, then maybe we should also t talk about the ex-homosexual. We're always talking about people coming out the closet and, and practicing homosexual or bisexual behavior people who go trans like Caitlyn Jenner, but we never talk about the people who detransition, okay? The people who are ex-homosexuals, the former bisexuals. We never talk about both sides. Clearly, something is an agenda being pushed to people. Jo even Joe Exotic's dad. When Joe Exotic came out as gay and his family found out, his dad said, don't come to my funeral. And Joe tried to kill himself. And that was dead, dead wrong of Joe's dad to do that, because if Joe's dad knows anything about God or in about how life works, he should have said, son, why are you feeling that way? Get to the root cause of what do you think is causing these feelings and these, these thought patterns, okay? His dad should have learned to separate the person from the behavior, okay? And it's funny, Joe Exotic has killed tons of exo exotic animals, horses, birds, tigers, lions, bears. He's admitted to killing many exotic animals, but he's celebrated. And Michael Vick fought a few dogs and he's been demonized for over 10 years now. There's, they signed a petition for him not to be in the Hall of Fame games and with football, all types of stuff. They've destroyed that man. But here Joe Exotic is killing animals. And, but hopefully you understand and understand how that happens. So in conclusion, was Joe Exotic born that way? No, he wasn't. That's what we have today. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. Like, comment, subscribe. This is um, it's a tough video.
because the truth hurts. I've had the truth hurt. It, it hurts, but it'll set you free. So subscribe, like, comment. Welcome to the John Bush Show.